Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and in this video, we're going to address a new vaporizer that's just hit the market, and unfortunately, one that has just left. Let's get to the one that's just left really quick. Many of you are familiar with the John Oliver EasyVap Pro. And John originally got into this just to help people out. He left the instructions on B-Source, but you know, a lot of us just don't really have the time or the ingenuity to do that. And so over time, he just started you know, selling them more as a service to beekeepers to save money than it really was for a business. And it really got out of control. And, you know, John says he's uh, at that stage in his life where he's just wanting to play all the time and not wanting to, to work so hard. But seriously, um, thanks to John Oliver for all that he has done um, for beekeepers. I know a lot of us have really appreciated his vaporizers and the, the quality of service that he provided. But he's no longer making these anymore. So I constantly get asked, how do I get a hold of a John Oliver vaporizer? Well, you can't, but you can save money over the ProVap by going to this one down here, which is the Laura Bees vaporizer. And you can see that laurabees.com. I'll leave a link below as well. We're going to talk about that, show you how it works. One of the cool things about it is that it uses the same type of caps. So, by the way, if you've got some of these, he told me that um, you know he sells them as well. So. If you're still using your John Oliver one but would like to get a few more caps for it, you can just buy those and you know as they are and and don't even have to get a vaporizer. So anyways, John provided a really nice service. I believe they were $175 um, when he stopped making them. Um, these are $250, but there are a lot more I think there's more inputs put into it as well. That makes it I think uh worth the money in my opinion depending on what you want one of the things with this vaporizer is you have this nice big aluminum body right here aluminum handle it stays cool all up in here so it's a lot you know it's really safe to grab and it just it, it makes it really strong it's not too heavy but it's nice and built heavy this case right here is much heavier than uh, the John Oliver one and uh, it's also stronger, in my opinion, than the ProVap 110, which I do have one. I've been using this a good bit now. I, I really wanted to try it a few hundred times before I gave my opinion on it. I haven't had any issues with clogging or anything like that. It's done a very good job. There's been one or two things that have kind of been like, well, that's not the best in the world, but there's been a lot of really good positives. And one is the strength that it has. It's very strong in the way that it's built. It also has more wattage than the ProVap and the John Oliver EasyVap, so you've got more juice as well. So that's really nice. Of course, you have your thermostat. Here in a second, we'll show you the vaporizer working. And it also comes with a switch that you can turn on and off, which is a, an additional feature. You got, your, of course, your copper bowl, your lids. It comes, it comes with five of these, which is really nice because any less than that for me is just, it's just not enough. And you know, you just got that bowl down in there. It's it's deep, which is really nice. And uh, also, you got this little um, kind of rest down here at the bottom. We'll show you how that works here in just a little bit. Now, the nozzle is a little bit thinner than the ProVap 110. Uh, it's the same size, I, I believe, as the John Oliver one. Uh, given the eye test, if it's not, it's very very similar. And uh, you know, so there's just a lot of nice features there. I really like how strong it feels. One of the, the only thing that I actually didn't care for as much as the ProVap is the fact that you can't stick it in the entrance. Um, you know, a lot of times I will just, um, well, let me get a John, the John vaporizer and show you. You can just like uh, slide it right in here and just let it sit. But most people don't treat through the entrance anyways from what i understand they, they do what i'm fixing to show you so it's really not great at the entrance but other than that i don't really see any issues with this vaporizer back here if you'll come on all around over here we'll show you what i've got set up and then we'll do it here in just a second once i get the respirator and everything on so originally this is one of my old bottom boards man it it really needs to come off this is a fantastic looking colony for february the the ninth happy birthday ethan and this is the original hole now over time it's wallowed out it's, this bottom board's starting to rot but that was a quarter inch hole and that's a little bit big for these now it will totally work i've, I've tested it out 
you know, it'll, it'll go in there and it'll ride. Now this is bigger than a quarter inch and it's, it's kind of rotted out a little bit. So it wants to slide a little bit back, but it'll still work. Um, I prefer a seven and 32nd inch hole. And you can see how with this bottom board, I put this little cleat right here and it just, it fits right down in there and this little boot um, hits that and kind of gives it a lot more stability. It's, it'd be better to have the wood completely flush with your bottom board. Now what Rob, uh, the guy who makes these showed me and what a lot of people are doing with this vaporizer as well is they're finding a spot in the box. You can, you can drill literally a hole in the box between frames or do different things like that and just stick it in the box and it'll sit flush. Um, I just drilled mine right there in my box and then it just again rests up against the pallet or bottom board and works really nice so that's a seven and 30 second inch drill bit that you'll need for that but a quarter inch will work and some people say they can go um you know into millimeters and do something a little bit different or whatever but you know i stick to american anyways so let's uh let's hook this thing up and let's see how it does all right, so we're back and ready to treat. Let me run through a couple things really quick for those of you who aren't familiar with using oxalic acid vapor. You're gonna want a respirator because even though it's not hard on the bees because they breathe differently than we do, I mean, it is really hard on our lungs. And so make sure you don't have any pets or kids or anything like that nearby. So also we're gonna to wanna to protect our eyes on the off chance that if we don't check beforehand, it's always good to check the holes especially if it's been a while, because sometimes the bees will plug it up with propolis or other things could happen. So you wanna make sure that when you push that nozzle in, that it's not getting blocked by something or that the nozzle's not blocked from something you did, maybe dropping on the ground. Otherwise, the pressure that will build up um, will blow the cap off and it'll spray hot oxalic acid, um, which is a lot more fun than you'd like to have, let me tell you. All right, so if you, Want to know where you get these um, good rated masks? Um, you can get them pretty inexpensive off of Amazon. I'm gonna leave that link below in the comments where you can check those out if you need one. All right, let's get this done. Take this off and ooh, bad hair day. All right. Oops, let's put those back on. Huh? Ah. Yeah, whatever. Let's go check the front. And you can just see where it's pouring out. And you can see the temp you can see the temperature starting to climb back up already. It's looking really good. Oh yeah. Go look at the front of the entrance now. Just pouring out. The Laura B vaporizer takes about 30 to 35 seconds to treat a colony. One tip that you need to watch out for no matter what vaporizer you're using is to not let your oxalic acid crystals sit in a place where they can be exposed to just air all the time. They will absorb moisture. In places like Tennessee, if you leave them out in your shed for a while, they'll absorb some of that moisture and it'll take longer for your vaporizer to work. So always keep them sealed. We're not, we don't get any kickback for doing a video on this. You know. So if you order one, you know, just say hey from us because we like letting you know what products are out there. We like seeing new products for bees, especially ones that work good. Overall, I've been very pleased with this vaporizer right here. And if you need caps, if you need a vaporizer, then you can go to laurabees.com. I'll leave that link below if you need one of these. You can check that out on the link below as well. So thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions on the Laura Bee vaporizer, leave it below.